five lights in the Japanese Grand Prix. A very long lights, but we're racing in Japan. It's a pretty bad start from Sandra. He's going to get swarmed by two cars there from the back. And there goes Logan Oren into the lead. He keeps it going through turn one and two. And Alexi going to keep P2. Sandro managed to hold on to P3. But it looks like Jim has had a spin on the first lap already. He's got in P3. No, into turn three. Look at them both go side by side. That's Dion and Euro going side by side into Degna 2. And Euro gets past through Degna 2. And Reese Marks takes advantage of that, gets past on the exit. Sandra's lost out a bit. But there goes Neek down the inside at 130 yard. A big contact going down into the Casio Triangle chicane. Neek just covers him off and he's up to P4. A great start from Neek here. Take. But. And that is, that's Logan! Logan in the wall! He's had a moment in the S's and he has to wait for the guys to come through. Oh, it's gone wrong for Logan through the S's. The race leader for the first two laps, he's in the wall and he's all the way down in ninth place now. And, oh, that is really heartbreaking for him there, but he's still got a race to go. I think his tyres a bit cooked at the moment four and a half second gap and there goes Neek on the outside into 130 yard he's gone and done it just about Sandro is still over the back of him but he's not going to come back at him there he's going to have to try and come back down the straight Neek's through but how long for is Sandro coming down the straight here is he going to get the run he's got DRS deploying all his energy here Neek leaves the inside door open he goes up the inside Neek he leaves enough space, Sandra comes back. He's comfortably ahead. But there goes Neek and Sandra. Neek's got the move in the turn one this time. And is Sandra gonna try and come back here? Let's see, Neek's just gotta hang on. Enough on Dion, he's gonna have to back off. But Dion goes wide, I think he just lets him through there. And Logan moves up into P6. And now, and here comes Logan. He'll take back P2, I think, with this move. Euro using absolutely everything. They're going to go side by side into turn one. They're giving each other as much space as they can. Euro, he can't come back at it though. A great move from Logan around the outside. Takes P2 in this race. Oh, yes, Euro in the wall. Oh, no. And that is, that is out. Euro is out and it's a safety car. Perfect for Logan. He doesn't have, he can't go too early. And he goes now, he didn't get a great restart. He didn't get the better of everyone else, but here comes Neek. Neek is right on the inside of Logan, and Logan left the gap open a little bit there, but Alexi keeps his position, and it looks like they all keep their position. going to be into 130R here, or maybe into the final chicane, he's not going to get into 130R, he's going to try and look for the inside line, he can't, he's going to have to go to the outside line, Zero places his car, perfect position here, and oh, he doesn't get a great run there, struggle for traction, but he's got DRS, he's much closer this time, I think this time, Logan or Rand's going to get the move, he's going to go on the inside, into turn one, and Logan or Rand takes the lead of the race. He leaves the gap open a little bit. Alexi tries coming back through, but he can't. And here comes Neek. Here comes Sandro. Though. Sandro, he's getting closer and closer. He's going to go for a move down the inside of turn one. Turns in very, very late. They make a little bit of contact wheel to wheel. And Sandro gets the move down into turn one. And that is another overtake into turn one between Sandro and Neek today. And oh, it's been an instant. And that is Jim and... 
Dion, it looks like it may have collided. I heard a bit of, I heard contact from the background there. And he returns on track and Colin Higgins takes back P6. But here comes Jim, he's gonna come right back. He's got DRS from the activation line. As the two Renaults go side by side into turn one. Colin on the outside, Jim on the inside. Jim keeps that P6. Colin tries to get the inside, but he couldn't they he's backed out of that. Getting very close. Pulling out for a potential move. He's not going to get it done, though. He's going to have to wait until now. He's going to deploy everything now. And I don't think Sandra is going to fight it here. Neat is going to get back past. Another switcheroo of positions. Neat back into the podium places. And he's going to dominate here in Japan. He's going to win the Japanese Grand Prix. His second career victory. In pretty good fashion as well for now but Sandro Dulis is going to pick up another podium this season I think this being his fourth